Welcome to Game Night tonight for another game unboxing of Wingspan's expansion, Oceania. Pretty excited about this. So for Christmas, my parents got me the game Wingspan. Now, I we've already put a, this game up on our channel. You can see the playthrough up above. You can check that out. Um, but we have the, the, the base game. It's a lot of fun. But they have two different expansions, and this is one. I had not seen this one, but they got it for me for Christmas, so I'm pretty excited about it. So here you have, oh, the digital edition. I can save 30% with this coupon. Um, I'm going to, you know, blotch that out. No, I'm just kidding. I don't really care. If you want the coupon, I probably won't get the digital edition. So first come, first serve. There you go. 30% off coupon. All right. Set that aside. First and foremost, you're going to be having the Oceania expansion rule book here. So the setup on everything that's going to be happening. So we're going to have different food dice added. We're going to have nectar tokens now. Um, and it looks like five different player mats. So to play with this particular expansion, you're going to be using different player mats from the base game. Whether you have the gameplay, what's going to be happening, the different player mat actions and how it resets, game end powers, etc. But it's going to have the appendix immediately into the appendix. Wow. So gameplay is like pretty simple, pretty similar, I'm guessing, to the base game. Just a couple of different additional things in there. But then you're going to move on to the appendix, which is going to have the bonus cards. That is not a bird, by the way. Um, our cat is, I guess, trying to get a bird out of a tree. I'm not entirely sure. This happens frequently. But moving on to the appendix, we're going to be going about like what different cards do, the different bird powers that you're going to be seeing, food gaining powers, etc., egg laying powers, card drawing powers, what they do, how they're activated, uh, flocking powers, hunting and fishing powers. Um, dang, this for just an expansion, this has a lot. So bonus card powers, other powers, and finally to the end for the credits. So it looks like there are 11 pages of appendix slash rules in just that one for this expansion. But then you have the Ex Oceania expansion Automa rules. So this is the one player version. So if you're going to be playing the game just by yourself, which is still pretty fun. You have the different setup, what's different there, how you're gonna be playing, is it new, like the new dice, everything like that, how it's gonna be scored at the end. Oh, you can do two to four players against the, the game, essentially. So that's kind of fun. So if you don't have the full, I think it's a, it is a five player game, if I remember correctly. Yeah, so it's a five player game. You can play one to five players, or you can do four and then have an automated fifth player, which would be the game, right? So you have that. It's not nearly as extensive. It's only three pages. Three pages to be able to do that. But again, that, the rule book will explain all the different things. Let's go ahead and bust into these different nice little baggies here. Okay. First and foremost, this baggie. I'm going to throw out this gel for freshness. But it has more food things. The only difference is they're adding this nectar and nectar slash wheat, right? So it's going to be a lot more ores, right? You can choose either the caterpillar or the the wheat, or you can do the wheat or the nectar, right? So adding a lot more ore options, but also adding in the nectar. But it's the exact same across all the same all the the dice. So not much changes. It has one of each symbol. Then a lot of the ores. Nice. So you got five new dice there. Still, I think you just play with these specific dice for this expansion. So it changes it up, obviously, because you have to have that nectar thrown in there as well. Moving on to get some more yellow eggs. In the base game, the, the color of the eggs doesn't really matter. So I'm curious if that's going to change anything or if they're just adding a new color, making it a little bit more fun in that regard. Not sure. We're going to bust into these later. But first, we're going to go through the bottom of here. So you have your new multiplayer, like the tally, totals, everything for the victory points that you're going to be gaining throughout the game um, to do that. But here you go. You get all the nectar tokens, all of them, end of round reference. You're going to have these as the bonus objectives that you're going to be having as well. And then on the back, end of round reference again. But then you have it double-sided on these different uh, goals per round. So those are going to be different and fun too. So you have eight different options essentially with those new ones. Set that aside. You're going to have, ooh, let's bust into these. So it looks like these are all of our new player mats. Nice. So first and foremost, uh, we'll just open one up. Yeah, because it's going to be all the same. So the difference here 
as you're seeing, okay, so playing a bird is the exact same thing. It says you can trade two for one of any resource that you need. Cost eggs in this column, two eggs in this column, right? The only difference is game end, five for every two points for the majority. So spent, and that's like the nectar spent. I guess you have to spend nectar based on like the row that you're in to be able to activate that. But that's the only thing that I'm seeing the difference of. Um, there is additional stuff here. This means that you can do it twice instead of just one time, but they are adding nectar symbols down into here. So a couple of different symbols here. So those little symbols there, but ultimately the same kind of setup, right? You have the three different columns where you can play the birds, whether it's in the forest, it's in the plains uh, or whatever, uh, prairie, and then in the marshlands, right? So your birds are going to be coming in different places. It looks like there's a few different symbols. If you get to the end here, you're going to be drawing four cards every time you do it, which is nice. Uh, but there you have it for that. And there are going to be five different ones of these, right? So they're all the exact same. So I don't really need to open all of these up, but you get the idea. There are the five individual player boards there. So we have five player boards. We have all the punch outs here. Going to have that there. Our tokens before I get into our birds here. So these are the new birds that they're going to be adding into this expansion. So the cool thing about the Wingspan games is, especially if you're an avid birds birdsman, I don't remember the, the proper terminology for that, but if you know birds and love birds, there's all sorts of birds facts on these. And these are all birds that are found around the world um, in different locations. And it'll show you on the map where this bird is actually found. It's kind of cool. But I'm going to go through these really quick. They always have a little bit about the bird, a little info tidbit. And based on like their actual nesting sizes, those are all accurate according to the game. And then like their, their actual wingspan as a bird, right? What it can get up to. But you have the Abbott's booby. Uh, you've got an Australian pipit. You've got an Australian shoveler. The Australian ibis. And down here you have like brown, which says when activated. And then you have the white ones that says when played. You have the yellow ones at game end, etc. So each of these has different powers uh, across the board, right? So I just showed you the Australian Ebus. I'm going to go on through these quick. So if you need to slow down the video, please do so to see what is on each card. So Australian Magpie. The Australian Alet Nightjar. Uh, night, yeah, Nightjar. Australian Raven. So I'm guessing a lot of these are from Australia. Australian Reed Werbler. The Australian Shelduck, the Australian Zebra Finch, the Black no Naughty, ah. Black Swan, nice, the Black Shouldered Kite, Blythe's Hornbill. And to be honest, I didn't know there was this many birds. I knew there was a lot of birds out there, but there are so many birds and it is amazing. Like all the artwork and everything on these. You got the Brolga, you got the Brown Falcon. You got the bud, budge ridger, bud, budge rigger, budge rigger, cockatiel. You got the Count Raggy's bird of paradise. A very pretty bird with lots of crazy feathers on that. You got the crested pigeon, crimson chat, the eastern rosella, the eastern whip bird, the emu, the gala. The golden-headed cysticola, the gold's finch, green pygmy goose, the gray butcher butcher bird. Well, butcher bird. The gray shrike shrike thrush. Interesting. Very small bird. Twenty-six centimeters wingspan. A gray teal. Gray warbler. The gray-headed mannequin. Horsefield's Bronze Cuckoo. Horsefield's Bushlark. Bushlark. Capacon. Interesting. Kea. Or Kia. The Kelp Gull. Kereru. The Koramako. Koramako. The Laughing Kookaburra. The Lesser Frig uh, Frigate Bird. Lewin's Honey Eater. The Little Penguin. Ah, oh, I love that they added a penguin. That's so great. Little Pied and the Little Pied Corm Cormorant. Magpie Lark. 
This is where I get to just do my pronunciation. Major Mitchell's Cockatoo. Malafowl. The Maned Duck. The Many Colored Fruit Dove. The Masked Lapwing. The Mistletoe Bird. The Musk Duck. Interesting that it has that little pouch thing underneath its bill. And the New Holland Honey Eater. Yeah, so this is definitely a challenge as far as my reading ability goes. So I'm going to split these up. So it, it's just to, to see how good I am at reading names and seeing if I can, you know, pronounce them correctly. Because I'm pretty sure I'm butchering most of these, but it's still fun. Like I said, really cool, the facts on the different birds and like seeing them, seeing that there's so many different ones. Uh, it's great. All right, so we got the Noisy Miner, the North Island Brown Kiwi. There's a lot of Australian birds here. The orange-footed scrub fowl. The Pacific black duck. And the peaceful dove. He is pretty peaceful. Pesquette's parrot. The pheasant coco or cuckoo. The pink-eared duck. Doesn't have any ears. Plains wanderer. Princess Stephanie's Astrapia. Very long, pretty tail feathers right there. The Pukeko. The Rainbow Lorikeet. The Red Wattlebird. Red backed Fairy Red. Red capped Robin. Red necked Avochet. The Red Winged Parrot. The Regent Power, no, Bower Bird. Royal Spoonbill. Rufus Night Heron. The Rufus Owl. Or Rufus, I don't know. Rufus Banded Honey Eater. Who is this Rufus guy? Sacred King Fisher. Silver Eye. South Island Robin. A southern cassowary. Spangled drong uh, drongo. Splendid fairy wren. A spotless crake. Stubble quail. A sulfur crested cockatoo. A superb lyrebird. Or lyrebird. I think it's lyrebird. Tawny Frogmouth. Tui. Tui. Wedge tailed Eagle. Welcome, Swallow. Hey, welcome. The White Bellied Seagull. So a sea eagle is not seagull. White Bellied Sea Eagle. There we go. A White Breasted Wood Swallow. A White Faced Heron. A willy wagtail. The rye bill. Ah, here we go. Okay. So it looks like those are the bird cards themselves, right? So we're going to have a whole slew of different bird cards. These are going to be the bonus cards that you can get you more victory points based on what you're collecting. Um, so here on the back, that's what will distinguish because the birds have the feather cards, right? So the feather backing to distinguish that it is a bird that you're getting there. Uh, but you got the different bonus objective things that you can get. So here we go, we got a mechanical engineer based on what you collect there. The site selection expert. The wetland data analyst. Uh, analyst. The forest data analyst. And the grassland data analyst. But there you go, a couple of new cards that will add in there to help you get more bonus points based on what you're doing, right? And I am trying to figure out what the rest of these are. Okay. Um, Roatoma. So this is different rounds based on the rounds. So round one, round two. Round three. So I'm guessing, okay, so the gear cards. Not seen these ones before. So maybe this is the, yep. This is the Automa. So this is against the game, like what they do based on how they collect or whatever. They don't do good in round one or round four, etc. Right. So that's for the, the solo variant. And these are all, it looks like, Except for these two. These are all going to be like solo variant things that are going to be 
taking place, right? So take an egg from another player, it gives them, so it's going to be adding different things that the game is actually going to be doing, right? So he's going to spend, 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 three, four, five nectar in each box. Interesting. And that's a spent nectar. At the end of each round, do this twice, draw a card, place here. So obviously against the game, what's going to be happening, right? So these are different scenarios that can happen. It looks like four of them are a lighter green-ish blue, and then you got one that's in solid blue. So I don't know if that's like what he does every single time or what. Who knows? Got to read up on that, right? Go ahead and read up on that. And then these two cards, it looks like they're reference cards. Okay, different in food cost of your birds. So this is round three. Round one, end of round goals, what you get, what you get and then around two so these are the four different cards because it is played in four rounds but based on the rounds what is going to be happening i'm guessing like what he does what the the game does as he whatever that helps with the solo variant so there you go that is it for all the the stuff that is entailed in this wingspan game you've got obviously your rules your solo play rules and everything that comes into the oceana expansion of wingspan there you have it i mean it's interesting because this game is a lot of fun by itself but it looks like you can add obviously there's the bird feeder and then like the holder for the cards um, but aside from that it has added the new dice and the player mats so i'm wondering if you can just play this as is instead of adding it as an expansion but i i mean the, the cool thing is they added the one player variant i'm i can't remember if the, the base game has the one player variant as well but either way a lot of new birds in here, a lot of them from over in Australia in that part of the world. Uh, so kind of cool seeing different ones and maybe that's hence Oceania uh, expansion. It's a lot of ocean dwelling birds or over in the islands and etc. But there you have it for Wingspan Oceania expansion. Love this game. It is a lot of fun. So I would suggest it. Pick it up. It's, it's good. Obviously I haven't played this one, but the base game is a lot of fun. But there you have it. If you like the video, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell for future notifications on all the videos we're going to be coming out with. And we will see you then next time on Game Night Tonight.